Beatles song. The first tune I ever wrote that was worth a damn. I wrote it sing. And you notice? Fingers are on to something fresh again today. And you need company for that? Not just your company. I needed you. So Kelly Uridine is another romance option within this game. There are four in total, Judy, Panam, Ruva and Kelly, who you can actually have a relationship with and not just a one night stand so to speak. And within this video guys, I will guide you through every option you need to make in order to romance the legendary samurai member, Kelly Uridine. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps me out and if you are new around here and want to stay up to date with everything cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. So firstly, Kelly Uridine will only romance you if you are masculine. So basically you need a masculine voice and a masculine body. So basically you need to be a male. So that's where you start. Now this starts very early on and you have to progress through many missions to trigger this relationship. So here goes and firstly tapeworm. This is a side mission which eventually opens up after you've completed four main story missions in which you speak to Johnny at the end of them. Automatic love, transmission, life during wartime and search and destroy. Upon doing these missions you will see scenes where you are talking with Johnny and you should be notified of tapeworm being completed after transmission. Now upon completing this you will unlock another side mission called chipping in. This mission I have already covered where it sees you getting Johnny's rewards, you get his gun, his jacket and his car and it's important to follow suit again here. As this mission sees you and Rogue go looking for Adam Smasher, you don't find him but you do at the end of this mission come across a guy called Grayson. Now at the end of this mission you down this fella but it's important that you do not kill him. He will have Johnny's gun so grab that while he's down. Now he will make a deal with you and it's important to select Got Lucky Today where you let this dude live. He will give you a key to a container which when you open up, it's got Johnny's Porsche inside. The mission then progresses where you take Johnny to his grave. Here you need to do as I do on screen now, select the same dialogue options and basically befriend Johnny Silverhand in every way possible. So that's how it is. Nothing here at all. you expect? Headstones, flag and flowers? No, I, I don't know. A marker, something, anything. We'll figure something out. Better now? A bit. But let's say it was my real grave. What would you write? Here lies Johnny Silverhand. Night City Legend. Sounds good. But what does it really mean? What did I achieve shouting chipping in to a bunch of angry pimply kids? Those kids hope. The suits couldn't buy everything. I remember what I thought on stage. That even if they all died for their ideals, it'd be worth it. But when I look at you... Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I but I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up, but we have. It's been a long, bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. And yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. You were a real dickwipe at first. You sort of deserved it. Remember we 
thinking of it, Victor's not knowing about me. I'm seeing things, I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night? Complaining about not being able to kill me? Never thought we'd make it this far. When you said you let your friends down, did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carrie, Santiago. Not all's lost yet, at least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Smash your bitch really got to her. You can't leave it like this. I don't think. Might be right. She was acting weird. You ought to talk to her. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me? Ask if she's free some night? Thing is, you'd have to surrender control. Again. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours. When you have done this guys, it opens up the next mission called Blistering Love. Now we have taken this route as it also gives you a unique ending opportunity including Rogue. So after this Blistering Love mission is done, the next couple of missions you have to complete don't really affect any possible outcome in terms of any dialogue options you choose. So complete Blistering Love, this unlocks Holding On, complete this mission. This then unlocks Second Conflict. Again guys, complete this mission. And upon doing this and waiting 24 hours in game, the next mission will pop up and it's called A Like Supreme. This again guys, just go with the flow. Now upon completing this people, the next mission is called Rebel Rebel. But for this, you have to wait 12 hours in game while outside Kerry's Villa, which you will already know the location through these side missions. So go over there and wait. Kay will then call you for you to meet up and you are then good to go with this, just follow the flow and get this mission done. This will then unlock I don't want to hear it, where again guys you just have to complete it. Now apart this mission I will add and warn you, even though it has no bearing on the relationship with Kerry, a situation will arise between Kerry and the US cracks. What you want to do here is everything to resolve the situation between them, as this opens up a future side mission, so remember that. So once this mission is done, wait another 12 hours in game. And this is where the fun starts. Now depending on if you help them see all their differences within that last mission between Kerry and the US Cracks, changes this mission. If you did, you get invited to a party and concert. If you didn't, Kerry still invites you, but there is no party. This mission is called Off the Leash by the way. So Kerry gives you a call where you need to head to the Dark Matter in Japan town. Tell the bouncer once you are here that you are there to meet Kerry and then take the elevator up and meet Kerry. So here when speaking to Kerry, it's very very important to avoid all dialogue lines implying that you have better things to do or that he doesn't need you. You will then get the option to kiss Kerry but this I will mention doesn't affect the relationship if you do refuse. Ok so when you are done with this mission the final one to complete this relationship opens up after 24 hours in game of waiting and this mission is called Bolt Drinks. You will receive a call from Kerry which sees you head into his yacht. Now once on deck accept his offer to go for a cruise around the bay. Do not refuse this people, if you refuse it the relationship is over. Now further on in this mission, once the yacht is within the middle of the bay, Kerry will ask you to vandalise it with him. Now here you don't have to accept, but you may as well. Now further on there are two very important steps you must follow if you want Kerry to be your romantic partner. First, when Kerry asks for your help inside the yacht, make sure you kiss him. Then guys, after the scene on the beach, you need to select the dialogue line confirming your interest in Kerry. Doing so, you will enter a relationship with Kerry and Kerry can now make an appearance in the ending epilogue if other things are followed. But yeah guys, this is how you get into a relationship with Kerry Uridine and I hope this guide helps you out. 
And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of it. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all things Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.